this is a World War II set drama. It stars George McKay as a like it who you know is is kind of working gorgeous george mckay well that oh gorgeous george we, McKay. We, we just lost you for a second there anna you seen as you're, you're down the line so we've got gorgeous george mckay who's he playing He's playing a civil servant called Hugh Leggett, and he is very good friends and went to university with a German fella called Paul, who they grew up together and, and go to school, and they're in opposing ideological sides. And the the movie really is about the the potential start of World War II, and that's about it. That's interesting about it. Oh wow! I I wish we I did I wish we didn't really have to start with a dud. It's not exactly a dud. It's a per, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. There is not much going for it. If you're into specific World War II history, it might be really fascinating. I think it it tries to tap into this very quite interesting exploration of what power means because. It's not just about the big, uh, powerful figures, the prime ministers and the dictators. Mm. It's also about all of the people around them that work, you know, in invisible roles that know about things, that know that things are coming. There's the, t the biggest tension in the film is that there's a lot of people kind of down the, the power totem pole who know that World War II is inevitable and are trying to operate within the pol the political rules of the systems within which they exist to try to stop it. So it's not really action driven, it's very policy driven. That's not th really the most thrilling thing to watch on screen. You have to be a really talented filmmaker to be able to make uh, talking people, people talking in enclosed rooms exciting. And there are moments that are thrilling in this because you know that, it, you know, the inevitable does happen. And there is one particular scene where a character is trapped in the same room as Hitler and has a gun ready to shoot him. And you're kind of thinking, oh, my God, is this going to go in a, in a different direction? Are we going to go down a science fiction route? Will he do it? This tension of, you know, am I here? I have the opportunity to prevent something terrible from happening. Will I take this chance? And But those moments are very few and far between. Ultimately, this is a film that I, I don't really see the need for it to exist. I don't really see the need for it to be two and a half hours long. Oh my God, I was just going to ask, tell me uh, it's not a long one. <laughs> it's two and a half hours long and honestly it felt about four hours long. I almost kept forgetting about it as it was going along. It is, I think in, in two words, it is aggressively, ba aggressively basic. <laughs> there is very little that feels compelling about it. <laughs> Get and... that on the poster. Aggressively basic. <laughs> Anna Bogutskaya. <laughs> I mean, I wish we could start with something softer, but it's just not. I, I think wow. it's trying to go. It's There's some interesting ideas there, but I don't think it's made by uh, an interesting enough mind to actually explore them. George McKay is always wonderful. You know, mm, I, I love that actor. I think he's good in everything. Apparently, Jessica Brown Finley is in it. She's oh, on she? the credits. Oh, I, I bl blinked, blinked and I missed her because all the women in this film are just like t spoken about or being told like, oh, yeah, I've got a wife. She's there somewhere outside of frame, <laughs> but <laughs> I've got one of those. I, I, exactly, <laughs> one of those so things. It's, oh god! It's, well, but is it is it, is it also it is. um is it also frustrating to see um George Mackay when like because that would just make me think about 1917, like another war film done really really well. That would irritate me as mm. well. Maybe it's one of those. Well, you know, well, I, I think he's got a lot less to do. 